Welcome to DoorTech Essential Series. Ease your learning. In this video, we will learn about basics of computer hardware. Let's check some basic parts of computer. Motherboard refers to a centralized printer circuit board, with multiple sockets, which allows other peripherals like, processor, memory, storage, sound card, video card, network card, and many more, to connect and communicate for the desired outcome. Motherboards are produced in a variety of sizes and shapes called form factors, some of which are specific to individual computer manufacturers. Above are some size comparisons, standard ATX is the most used motherboard, micro ATX and mini ITX are for, building small size computer with limited peripherals, nano and pico ITX are more into palm size computers. EATX is an extended form of standard ATX to allocate more processor sockets, memory and peripheral slots. These are used in high-end workstation machines, built for graphics designing, gaming, virtualization, centralized cluster storage etc. What is a processor? The processor is a chip, or a logical circuit, that responds and processes the basic instructions, to drive a particular computer. The main functions of the processor, are fetching, decoding, executing, and write back the operations of an instruction. The processor is also called the brain of any system. The ALU, arithmetic logic unit, and CU, control unit, are the two parts of the processors. The arithmetic logic unit performs all mathematical operations such as additions, multiplications, subtractions, divisions, etc. The control unit works like traffic police, it manages the command or the operation of the instructions. The processor communicates with the other components also, they are input-output devices and memory storage devices. Older processors had single core and thread. Newer processors integrate multiple cores into one chip starting from 2 cores 2 threads to 64 cores 128 threads and more. It's similar to have multiple processors in single computer. Memory is the electronic holding place for the instructions and data, a computer needs to reach quickly. It's where information is stored for immediate use. Without it, a computer would not be able to function properly. Memory is also used by a computer's operating system, hardware and software. There are technically two types of computer memory. Primary, RAM, and secondary, storage. RAM is the temporary memory and recycles when there is a power loss. Storage is a permanent memory where files are saved for longer duration. Cache memory. This temporary storage area, known as a cache, is more readily available to the processor than the computer's main memory source. It is also called CPU memory because it is typically integrated directly into the CPU chip. Here is a chart of memory categories. Static RAM is the full form of SRAM. In this type of RAM, data is stored using the state of a 6 transistor memory cell. Static RAM is mostly used as a cache memory for the processor. CPU. DRAM stands for Dynamic Random Access Memory. It's a type of RAM which allows you to store as each bit of data in a separate capacitor within a specific integrated circuit. Dynamic RAM is a standard computer memory of the many modern desktop computers. Here is the list of some DRAM types, the year they were invented, their speed, number of pins they have, and voltage required. Different RAM come with different pin configuration, the differentiator is the notch position on the RAM. Every RAM has their own slot size to fit into. The RAM type depends on the type of processor we use. The power supply unit, also known as a PSU, converts the alternating current AC, line from your home to the direct current DC, needed by the personal computer. 
The typical voltage is supplied R. 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts. Knowing the cables of the power supply in their correct placement is important. The fact is that each cable connector has a unique and different design to prevent plugging in the wrong connection. 24 or 20 pin ATX power connector, plugs into motherboard. This is the main power connector for the motherboard. It is wider and longer than other connectors of PSU as it is gathered as the thickest cable. 4 pin plus 4 pin slash 8 pin 12 volts power connector plugs into motherboard. A connector for connecting to the motherboard to power the CPU, its integrated graphics, memory controllers, and overall the VRM of the motherboard. SATA connector supplies power to SSDs and HDDs. It provides three different voltage options, 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and 12 volts. The connector has a unique design that looks like a line down L. It is important to look at the correct side for its installation. PCIe power connector, plugs into graphic card. Not to be confused with 8-pin CPU connector, despite their resemblance, both are different. PCIe power connector is used for supplying power directly to high power consumption graphics cards. 4-pin peripheral power connector, Molex connector. Peripheral connectors were the mainstream standard before SATA. It was used to connect hard drives and CD-slash-DVD drives based on the IDE data connector. Most desktop PCs require power below 200 watts while running. But when you add external devices to your system, more power would be required. Also, more power is required initially when a system is switched on. In order to decide the SMPS power requirement, you need to consider the power of each device connected to the system and sum up their wattage to estimate the overall power requirement. There are many free online tools to calculate this. There are two main storage devices used in desktop computers. Hard disk drives with higher capacity, available in fixed or removable format. Optical drives with lower capacity, which need separate storage. Computers rely on hard disk drives, HDDs, to store data permanently. They are storage devices used to save and retrieve digital information that will be required for future reference. Hard drives are non-volatile meaning that they retain data even when they do not have power. The information storage remains safe and intact unless the hard drive is destroyed or interfered with. We will have a detailed session on storage device in a separate video. Above are the four common form factors of personal computer case. You have to select a case and motherboard to go together, as small motherboard can go into big case but it won't fit the other way around. The computer case should be selected as per the required size of power supply, number of HDD slash optical drive slots you need, and the number of cards you are going to connect on a motherboard. CRT is the older form monitor, rarely used now due to low demand. The modern monitors are flat screen, occupying less space and lighter. There are multiple technologies with different price range suitable for every budget. Monitor screen works on the principle of pixels which are placed vertically and horizontally. Each pixel is made of three color diodes, red, green, blue. By increasing and decreasing the intensity of these individual diodes different colors are achieved, similar to mixing different color paints new colors are formed. Each diode can have 8, 10, 12 bit variations multiplied by 3 diodes, which can produce billions of color shades as shown in above image. Monitors come in different resolutions which are counted in vertical and horizontal individual pixels as shown in the above comparison chart. Keyboard and mouse are the primary input device for a computer. 
A computer keyboard is a peripheral input device, modeled after the typewriter, which uses an arrangement of buttons or keys to act as mechanical levers or electronic switches. Different key sets have different functions as shown in the above image. Typically a standard keyboard has 104 keys. The key numbers can change with combinations based on the form factors. The mouse typically have two to three buttons with the scroller. Old mouse used a mechanical trackball, which is replaced by laser sensor. Different buttons are added based on the additional functionalities required. Here are some common input and output device but not limited. Hope you enjoyed learning this series, more to come. Like, share, comment, press the bell icon and subscribe to get notified about upcoming videos.